Hello, welcome. My name is John Brunswick, and today we're going to take a change of pace, come outdoors, and do some live demonstrations. We're going to be looking at doing augmented reality with the Salesforce platform. Now, we're specifically today going to be taking a look at the art of the possible with a construction project or series of projects. And this is something that could apply to any large scale engineering effort. It could also apply to something like agriculture because really what we're doing is we're taking information and laying it over the view that we have. This could be something that's powered by Google Glass, but today we're just gonna be using an iPad. A lot of us already have these devices and we can start to take advantage of it. The technology we're using today is a native iOS application, Salesforce's platform underneath the covers, and the Heroku technology to supply a series of web services up to the device. So with that being said, let's take a look at a live in action shot of what we've put together. So our application allows us to see any projects that are in close proximity. This is using geolocation. Each project is displayed on the map with the color indicating if there are any critical issues on a given project. Down below, we can actually see the progress of all of the projects within a project group or zone. We can click on issues to bring up an aggregate list of any issues across our series of projects. It displays an icon indicating if something's new, if it's being worked on, or if it's been closed, as well as the manager for that given project. Let's go ahead though and open the exciting part. When we click Open Visor, that brings up the augmented reality view which lays all of our project information on top of a see-through experience. If we go ahead and click on the waterfront residences, it actually brings up all of the project details. Here we can see that Ted Sanders is the site manager and we can email him or call him with a click. Below, we see the status of various phases of work being done for that project and any updates to aspects of the project that are tracked in Chatter are displayed there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open the one condo project that has a critical issue. Here we could start to understand why and reach out to Ted to try to correct it. Let's close that out. Now after looking at this view, let's take a look at what the site managers can do in Salesforce One as they work on the ground. By using the Salesforce One application to look at the site manager experience, we can also get a sense of how the objects were created to form a data model that supported our augmented reality demonstration. Let's go ahead and log in. And once we're logged in, what we're greeted by are actually all of the updates on the projects that we follow within Salesforce. So the beauty is just as we would follow somebody on Facebook or Twitter, we're able to do the same thing here. And so whenever a status for a given project updates, we actually get a nice news feed of that directly on our homepage. And we can see here that it's related to the different projects that we were looking at a moment ago. Let's go ahead and go into our left-hand navigation and access building projects. We can see here this list should look pretty familiar based on the demonstration we did. And in our case, let's go ahead and take a look at that luxury condo tower again. What we'll notice is that all of the standard fields and our custom fields are nicely laid out in a mobile format here. We can see some areas, specifically things like site location, that we use to power the geolocation within our demonstration. On top of that, we have a number of different indicators here for the various phases that we're showing for a given project. And what's happening is these are formula fields that are aggregating the information of different sub-phases for a given project. So we're seeing summary information here that ultimately gets summarized into something called project progress. And that's how we were able to show how far along graphically in those indicators on the map and in the augmented reality view, a project was. We can also see here that currently there is one issue related to the project. So this issue count 
And that's actually calculated based on a related object called project issues. Let's go ahead and click into that. And we can see here there are two issues. Let's go into issue six. For any of the issues, we were able to set up customizable options, whether it's pick lists or description fields. And here what we've chosen to do is have a status field, and right now it's set to open. So if we go ahead and edit our particular issue, let's go ahead and close it out, hit save, and we'll head back to our project. On the project main page, if we scroll back down to the bottom, we'll notice now that the issue count is zero. So in our demonstration, what would end up happening is that the orange bar that was shown for the map indicator and for the details view would actually now change to blue. So this is just a quick look at a custom project object, some sub-objects that represented the phases so that they could bubble up their status, in addition to a project issues related object. So we could collect a series of project issues and manage them for a given project. I hope that this insight has been helpful in showing how the Salesforce platform can support things as wild as augmented reality, but be modeled out and built in such a way that it's really fast and effective to do, in addition to getting out of the box mobile capability.